the OBS NDI plugin name has been changed to this right here on the screen called the Distrov AV Network Audio and Video in OBS Studio. And in this particular video, we're going to install it and test it out to see if it still works or not. Because a lot of people have been complaining that they install the plugin on their system, they still can't find the NDI source on the OBS software and also the Prism Live Studio. And that is what we're going to be fixing in today's video. So let's just go ahead, install it, test it out, and also show you how you can be able to fix this particular problem in case you are not able to find the NDI source on your own OBS software. First off, I'm just going to go ahead and install this plugin. So just click on right here. Remember, I've dropped the link in the description of this video. So just click on this, go to download here. And it's to redirect us to the website where we need to download this particular plugin. And that is it right here. So the new version is actually 6.0.0. And let's quickly go through the text. It says this version has major and large code changes, breaking changes on install OBS NDI. I said OBS NDI will be uninstalled before or after this drop. So it means that you must uninstall the OBS um, NDI plugin before you install this new one. So let's just go ahead and do that. And here's how you can be able to uninstall the OBS NDI plugin. Open your file explorer, then I'll go ahead and go over to local disk. As you can see here on the screen, so you just go to this PC. From this PC, go ahead and click on local disk here. And once this has finished loading, the next thing that you're going to do is go ahead and click on program files, just like the one you're seeing right here on the screen. Click on program files, scroll down till you see OBS Studio. That's what we're looking for. And that is it right here on the screen. And double click on the OBS Studio. Now from here, go over to OBS plugins. Click on the OBS plugins. Click on 64 bit, not the 32 bit, 64 bit. Now scroll down and look for OBS NDI. That is it right here on the screen. Now this two now, OBS NDI. So these two are the one you're looking for. Just scroll down till you find these two. Go ahead and delete it. Make sure the OBS software is not running while you're doing this, please. Just go ahead and delete this two file here on the screen. Just, just go. Once you've deleted this two file, the next thing that you're going to do is go over to your data. That's this one on the screen. Click on data. Now click on this um, OBS plugins again and find the OBS NDI, which is this folder. Now also delete this folder as well and make sure the OBS um, software is not running while you are doing this. Also delete this as well. Done. Now once you've deleted this, let's just go ahead and install the new plugin. Installer, that's this one here. It's called the Distro 6. Windows installer file. Just click on it and this is it here. Download this and also download the zip file, which is this one here also. Is going to go ahead and download that. That is it here. Click on start download. The zip file have also been downloaded. And let's just go ahead and put this in place. This is the new um, folder for the plugin. So I'm just going to go ahead and extract this. This is the folder right here on the screen. Now the reason why and um, the reason why I downloaded both the program files and the zip file itself is because sometimes when you load the plugin itself, it doesn't show up. You understand? Sometimes it doesn't show up. So I'm going to show you that in case you load the plugin or you start the plugin rather and it didn't show up and the NDI source didn't show up on your own software, you can also do it manually. And that's why I downloaded the two of them just to show you the two different ways that you can be able to get the NDI source on your own OBS software. Let's go ahead and install this. Click on open right here, just click on next here and then click on next here, click on next here, click on install here and finish and this has successfully installed the plugin now if you finish doing this and you are unable to find the plugin or the ndi source rather here's the second step now go over to the plugin file over here you're going to see as i extracted it the plugin zip file you're going to see the obs plugin and the data folder now let's go ahead and go back to our dix pc or the local dix open this go over to the local dix now go over to the program files and locate the OBS Studio, which is this one here. Now, you see the OBS plugin here. This is this one here, the OBS plugin, 64 bits. This is what we open and go over to the zip file of the plugin, open the OBS plugin, 64 bits, copy everything here. See, you copy everything here. First off, you copy everything here, 
cool over to the 64 bit of the default OBS uh, Studio program files and then paste this here, there, replace. I see. Now it's asking me to replace, meaning that the plugin was installed. So in case you own, you can't find it, or you installed the plugin and you didn't see the NDI source, you can also do this. Now go back where you have, um, go back where you have the data folder. Remember the one we worked on is the OBS plugins. Now we're going to go over to the data folder. Then we'll go over to the zip file that you downloaded. Go back to the data folder on the zip file, which is this one here. Open that, open the OBS plugin, and then copy this disk of um, AV here. Go over to the OBS um, data default folder. That's the program file OBS Studio, the data folder of it. Open it, and then go over to OBS plugin and paste the disk of, you can see there, just replace, continue, and you're done. Once you're done installing the Distroth plugin, don't also forget to install the NDI uh, runtime as well, which is the NDI this runtime. Remember, I've dropped the link in the description of this particular video. Go ahead and install it once you finish installing the Distroth plugin. And if that is your first time of installing the Distroth plugin, also remember to install the NDI runtime once you are done. If you want to remove the NDI plugin, which is the other one and install the distro plugin once you remove the ndi plugin and install the distro plugin and you are done with everything remember to also install the ndi assist runtime on the system so you won't have any issue with the distro plugin or having the ndi source not you know showing up on your own obs software or the prism live studio this is the obs software here is up now let's click on this place where you have sources here which is the ad here click on that and when you look up you're going to see here this is the ndi source here and it's showing up. And if you open the Prism Live Studio, you should also see the um, NDI source there as well. So once you finish, you know, copying and pasting this file, that should fix the NDI source issue. The second method should be when you've installed the plugin and it doesn't show, and the NDI source doesn't show up, but on the Prism Live or the OBS software, that is when you should do the second one. And that is all for now. If you, in case you haven't subscribed to the channel, smash that red subscribe button below. Turn on the notification bell and thank you very much for the 15,000 subscribers. Don't forget that I've added the consultation link in the description of this video. Thank you very much and see you on the next one.